and we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. We are now officially legal uh, in the eyes of all countries, as this is episode 21, meaning we can oh, drink. Oh, really? Yeah, it's episode 21. Yeah. Yeah, we oh. jumped. I know, right? Look at that. Oh, 21. Did you ever think it was going to hit 21 episodes? No. Did you ever expect oh. to be that quick? No. It's pretty cool, though. Oh. Yes. So, um... Well, hold on. I'm going to fix my... Michael. All right, all good. Anyone listening, you're like hearing some quack, 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 quack. That's Sydney trying to fix his mic, bringing it close to his face. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see um, Sydney's got nice um, post ups <laughs> in this side. He's got a bunch of tires that, uh, here, I can even point to it. Look at it. He's got tires over okay, here. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna click the mission. Is that this okay? Guy's, yeah, yeah, click the mission. Let's get, click. Let's get started. Let's all right, all right. Started. Yeah, can, can you can you boost your volume a little bit, like there, like a close to your face or something? It's uh, okay. I, I can try. All right, this guy's gonna this work. put it close to his face. Yeah. So, uh, hey man, as close as it can be. Okay, we we should be good then. Yeah, I think it's probably just the volume of my headphones. So, uh, so do you buy anything organic? Um. Yeah. You do bananas. Oh, okay. Organic well, bananas. Well, why do you buy uh, why do you buy organic stuff? Not everything. Sometimes it's not affordable. Sometimes the selection is horrible. You know. So. Oh, for sure, <laughs> yo. I, w- so I was at a. <laughs> I was, so I was at bananas this, like, are good because because they they're abundant. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I was where, uh, at this like uh, organic place. Uh, it's like farmer's market thing over the weekend. Okay. And like I bought I bought a cup of coffee and uh, one muffin, a small cup of coffee and a muffin. Guess how much it cost me? $12. Oh, good guess. No, close, close, close. Se- uh, seven sixty five. I was like, oh, oh no, my. Not even close. <laughs> no, no, but I mean like, <laughs> you, even, like if I, I, if I were to buy that. Yeah, for sure, yo. If if I were to buy that at uh, Tim Hortons, it would have been like four dollars, maybe three dollars. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's it's kind of sad to see that our society has uh, placed such a like a disconnect between like healthy food and like pricing. You know what I mean? That like kind of yeah. pushes us in that direction of like having to buy cheap food. That is processed processed food. Yeah, totally. It's just uh, easier to get man made food. For Not sure. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, totally. Chemicals yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Have, have you ever tried like Zevia? No. What is no, that? No, it's, it's, it's like the uh, healthy version of pop. So instead of like sugar, it's like they use stevia. I, I, I use kombucha, no? Oh, you drink kombucha? Sometimes, yeah, when it's available. Uh, do you, well, I don't uh, make it. I don't make it myself. Oh, you know Tara makes that? I uh, know you surprised me when I was, like, first went to your house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink it, but she hasn't made it in a bit, like in a week. So I'm just waiting to restock up. But it, it's. I want to know the effects because I don't know the full effects of the probiotics. So it's like, first, what I, does it actually? What so, actually does like? What does it do? Yeah, exactly. I, I, do? I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing it as like a preventative measure. Like I don't really know. I, allegedly, it's good for digestion. Like there's bacteria in your stomach, and then like. It just like supercharges it. I, I heard it helps protect you against like staff if you have like if you like do jujitsu and stuff. But like other than that, I don't really know. See, that, that's the trick about like healthy stuff. You know, like um, like you never know. Is it really healthier if you go healthy or not? You know, like we we would never like an organic banana versus a regular banana. Would you would you could you tell the difference? Like, could your body tell the difference? People say, you know. Okay, we're gonna have to destroy these people. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna get off here. I'm gonna snipe them. Oh, this guy's gonna use a sniper. I like it. Use a sniper too. Can you like just pick them off when? Oh, you have a sniper. Perfect. Yes. All right, one. I'll two. start on the right. You start on the left. Yeah, for sure. One, two, three, okay. go. Yeah. So uh, organic and stuff like your body. I don't like. Can your body really tell what's organic and not organic? You know what I mean? Like, how much of a difference can it really make? Maybe it does. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Exactly. Like, does it? Like, how? 
Um, Wait, is it a marginal difference? You, yeah, totally, exactly, <laughs> right? I just know that I'm paying more for it. And it's like, how, how do you feel about like ethically raised animals? You know, like the ones that are like factory farm. Like I hear that if, if it's like a cow, um, you're eating the stress hormone, which makes sense to me. And like, I guess that's why I wouldn't eat it. Like I'd like free reign it, you know? Mm. Like, do you, do you care at all about like, you know, like I am disconnected with how, you how you receive your meat. meat. Yeah, for sure. And no, I agree so, with you. Like, I, I just get it from a grocery store. So it's like, I, yeah. would, I would think positively about it. Mm -hmm. But that's just being ignorant to what's for actually sure. happening. For sure. Yeah, totally. Exactly. Right. It's like out of sight, out of mind. It's like, I'm assuming it's fine. Like, just because my mind will freak out if I don't, you know? Yeah. If you actually think about the atrocities and stuff, but it's like you can only save so much of the world, you know. Like, can't save. You have to. You have to like accept pieces of it, I guess. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like when people want like everything to be perfect. It's like I don't think it'll ever actually hit that perfect zone. You know? No, because so you're like, always gonna strive for something else. Exactly, exactly. If if it's not today, it's like gender equality tomorrow, and like, oh, the chickens are hurt. Oh, you're stepping on bugs. You should not step on bugs. You know, we have this weird thing about us as a species that's like it's never content. You know, until you just tell yourself everything's all good. You know, that's why we are a virus. Uh, that's true. I, uh, but you know, like Joe animals. Joe Rogan's word of us being a virus. Yeah, like yeah, totally. Like like the Earth's cancer. Yeah, for sure. Um, but you know that. Um, Actually, do you know that like video games back in the day, they had like really great stories. I, I heard that it could have been because like the graphics weren't that good. So you had to rely on like good storytelling, you know, in order to solve yeah. video games. But now like yeah. stories and video games aren't that good. But like Final Fantasy no. 7, do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, that, that game was amazing, right? The story was so good, blah, 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 blah. They were like environmentalists, bro. If you actually look at it. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's crazy. And it's like... We, we were kind of like, you know, like Avalanche, if anyone doesn't know, like uh, there's like a team of like renegades uh, called Avalanche and they like go against uh, Shinra. Sh Shinra takes the life force energy or you can see it as oil from uh, the earth and then that's like hurting the planet, you know, and they want to bring it back to like <laughs> natural, right, right? And they want to bring it back to like yeah. the naturalness of it. So they break into that's like so these... True. Right? Because I was like replaying the game actually. Uh, maybe I'll do like a walkthrough. That would be so sick. But I was playing the game. Oh, uh, like recently. You'd, I just bought the game. It was like $12 on um, PlayStation 4. So, like. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's oh. super. Yeah, I know. It's, it's sick though. It holds the test of time. Like, if you just like move past oh, the graphics, like that game is sick, yo. And they don't make games oh, like that man. anymore. It's crazy. You know, all the options, all of like. Do you remember like. Uh, like, I don't know how far you got in the game, but like they went to the arcade place and then uh I never beat I never beat it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I never, never got beat the it actually. Either. I never got all the characters. Oh, like yeah, I didn't yeah. beat the game. It was long. It was a long game. Oh, it was such a long game. But like the story was so like epic, you know? It was and, worth like, it. Oh, uh, for sure, for sure. I just never had the system. The oh, time. I see, yeah, yeah, I got you. So I was playing it, you know, at my cousins and then like I got addicted to it. I only played up to like a quarter of the game. Did you switch discs yet or no? No. Oh, okay. So you were like that's, really that's in why. the beginning. I was of the game. in the beginning. I was in the beginning. Yeah, wow. that's why. Like, I was so sad. I always wanted to. Yeah, that, that game's like. I always wanted to finish it, that game. It's so good, man. It's like addicting. Like I was playing it. Like it's, it's like you have to pretend like you're playing a Game Boy game you know because the graphics aren't there yeah. it's like playing pokemon but like the story is like still good everything's like epic um you, you ever play like that oh, there's like another game there's so many games that were so good back in the day chrono cross was amazing that was like my favorite game of all time i heard that was good oh it's I heard, so I it. so I good it really bro good. i heard it, it was good the story's good the characters like there's so many characters you can unlock and like i love how like, because they, they were really intricate back then. So, like, in order to unlock a character, like, you had to go and, like, seek them out. But they didn't make it weird, like, where it's like, oh, you've unlocked this character. It's sort of like you'll, like, meet this guy and you'll help him on the journey. And if you decide to help him, then he'll help you. He'll be like, okay, I'm going to join you on your quest. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's it like wasn't, you, it, 
What, are you telling me it? There's so many of those people. There's like game? thirty. There's like thirty-four characters, something like that. So like you, you what? didn't. Yeah, you didn't need to actually go out and like seek a party, but you could if you wanted to. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, it, was it like wasn't so cool. linear that you'll meet these people no, automatically. No, it's, exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I know, right? Like games don't like games don't like do that that's anymore. Cool. You know, like what's the best? Uh, what's the best like story game you played in a in a recent amount of time? Um, no, I just played GTA Five. Oh, you beat <laughs> the it? Story mode. What you yeah, think? I, the I, game. I couldn't beat the game, man. I hit this point, and I was like, you know, I'm just done. I just play online. Like I'm, I can't. No, but like, yeah. It's, well, this was before I played online, right? So it was. It was oh, cool. true, true. Um. Well, but like I powered, I was playing for fun at the at the start. But then eventually, I just played for the story and just to get it over with. Oh, okay, okay. What well, would you like about the story? Yeah. Nah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. You didn't like the story. What? Sorry, buddy. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Okay. It wasn't intriguing to me. Oh, so that's um, what I'm saying. Like, when was the last time you had you played a game? And you're like, wow, the story is actually pretty good. Ah. Uh, it's been a while, right? Like it's Fable? like, oh, Fable was so good too, man. At the at its time, at its it time, yeah, good, for sure. Yeah, it was it was one that I was like, okay, uh, this was a good game. Have Have you tried to play like uh, sequels and stuff? I find that like with sequels, it kind of it kind of like gets crappy. I played the Fable sequels, yeah, oh, they got really? worse and worse. Yeah, I know, right? Like the the first one, the yeah. story was so sick, like plot twist. Uh, like uh, no, no, spoiler alert. There's a plot twist. You know, so it's like the guy that brought you up. Um, the game's been out for a while, so if you haven't played it, too bad for you. But uh, the the plot twist is that the guy that brought you up is he turns out to be evil. What game is this? Sorry, Fable, Fable. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Like like you hit this point where like your master is actually the evil character, and you're like, oh no, so you have to fight your own master. That was really yeah. sick because it was like I didn't expect that coming. Like, because he was helping you the whole time. Man, that game was so How good. Do I get there? Oh, uh, drive around. Oh, yeah, around here. Yeah, 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 over here. Yeah. Um, and I loved how like there's uh different things you can go on. Do you like do you like a linear story or do you like a more like open story? Um, I like open more than anything. Oh really? Eh? Have you played uh, Assassin's yeah. Creed uh, Four, the pirate one? I've played all of them. Oh, nice! Uh, I've you... played every single one of Assassin's Creed. Did Did you like that one? Yeah, I like this. I liked. I liked it. I like number one at best. Improvements oh, yeah. could have been the seat and for the next ones. They could have improved it like way more, but they didn't. I think they get they got something where it was like, oh, we have already achieved, like the pinnacle, the of, yeah, for sure, yeah, the the height of it. So it's like we'll just live off of this and then just like there's so much more they could have done with with Assassin's Creed for sure. Could have made sure. it more amazing. I don't know what I like the story. I'd say like the story was all the right story. you know but like yeah, it's okay it, yeah it, it like, gets kind of repetitive like i get that you are a genetic person that you know you rem you relive your memories blah blah, blah blah you know but like it's it's like not that um it, it, it wasn't as engaging as the first one when like they talked about like uh i think it was like around the time of jesus and stuff you know, I guess it was because it was like so revolutionary, and then when they tried to do it a second time, it was like, uh, it's already been done. You know what I mean? But the, like the improvement was only the, the only thing they improved was the fighting and then the graphics. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like there were well, still glitches in the game. There was still, um, there's still like, I don't know. It was just, I love the idea of the whole team when you brought a, a crew with you eventually. Oh yeah, for yeah, the yeah, brotherhood. Yeah. That was the yeah. brotherhood one. Oh, that was so cool. They should have continued on with that too. I liked I like the pirate one where you can like sail around the uh, the ship. Yeah, yeah. But that but was, that was cool too. That was like a mix of like linear and open. You know, like that. That it's yeah. interesting that like because of the the way the games are now, like you can it can handle that much memory enough to like create an open Both. linear kind of game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
But I, I find it that can like, be. oh yeah, it can be linear, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, because like the main story is linear, but then you can like spend your time doing like side quests and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. Well, I just finished Destiny Two. Oh, what do you think of that? It's quick. You 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 can finish the game in like quick. Maybe in like an hour if you're with someone to help you. Oh no way. Okay. An oh, hour it, and a half. Yeah. Oh, is is it a multiplayer like co-op story? Online. All all online. Oh wow. So you you can join you can join like say you're playing online and I don't know you. Uh huh. And I see you online. I can jo- just join, start uh, joining your fight, and, you, and then like just follow you around and help you. Wait, is is it like World of Warcraft kind of thing where it's like, is it like that where like, you can um, like it's a, people it's in your Halo. world? It's Halo and World of Warcraft together. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, oh. it's both of those to get two together: Halo and World of Warcraft. What would you think of Halo? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was uh, it was one of the best shooters. It was Halo oh, or Call sure. of Duty at the time, remember? So it was like yeah, that's true. That's true. I found Call of Duty was a bit too fast for me. You know, like Halo was slow enough that like oh okay. You, you know, like, I like I like both. You know, you adapt. I like to I liked both of them. Mm. I like the realism of Call of Duty, but I also liked the shield the, of uh, Halo, where you can like yeah, wait to read it. Um, yeah. What do you think of the story? I thought that was like a. It was a really cool idea of like these super soldiers that like come out of um, come out of like cryo sleep in order to help uh, like the new generation and stuff. You know, like do you remember the first one was like, oh, the Covenant's attacking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna like uh, come out of cryo sleep and like help you defeat the Covenant kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that was a really engaging story. Uh, it was. That was um, a long one. The uh, Halo. Yeah. Yeah. I did it by myself. I didn't have someone to help me, so oh, it was rough. like a long, long process for me. That was one of the first uh, first times you ever had like co op co op story. You know what I mean? Like, I hadn't seen that. I hadn't seen that level before, where it's like the two of us will like get this story done. Have you ever played uh, oh, what's that one? Uh, Army of Two. Oh, sick! Oh, yeah, that right? was a well. Okay, story, blah. Yeah, but sure, the sure. the style of it, where it's the co-op. Oh my gosh! You had to like help each that other and stuff. Like, was oh, so good. That yeah, was so good. yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh! Oh my! <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about it right now. That was a great story. No, not story. A uh, great game because of the style of, like, you can draw their attention to the back. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, I remember that. And then that. they start you going towards them. you. Yeah. And then I'm just. I can. Yeah. And then I flank, and then we, and then I shoot them from another direction, and then you. Oh, it's perfect. It was such a great game. And and that sometimes was a great like game. if you had to like climb over something, it's like you had to wait for your guy to like help boost you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was pretty sick. But yeah. Don't Here, worry. I have a question for you. Oh, what's up? Uh, sec- so you want to do the security detail? Uh huh. Uh okay. Or oh. do you want to do the jailbreak? Jailbreak is the easiest. Uh, let's do security. Pretty easy. Okay. Let's we'll get the detail. Yeah. Uh, did you ever, did you ever watch the Assassin's Creed movie? We'll go into your thing this time. Oh, my car. Yeah, you can drive. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, I I couldn't get through it. Yo, know? like, have you have you tried watching it? The movie Assassin's yeah. Creed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched it. It was not. Oh, you good. watched the full thing? Yeah, I know, right, man. These like these movie games are so terrible. I was uh, on the on the plane, so oh, I had no choice. Ah, wow. <laughs> I was trying to use it to fall asleep, but it was good. It was it wasn't good, but it was like, ah, uh, yeah, no, no. Do, do you like that actor, Michael Fassbender? He's in uh, X Men, and then uh, he played Magneto, all that stuff. Uh, that role was not great for him. The assassin role. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't seem very like, like agile and stuff. It like, should have been. It should have been like yeah, exactly. It should have been like a random guy. Yeah. Like it would have been perfect if they in, in gaming movies like this, uh-huh. they need to use random people. 
for sure for sure like you know? unknown people this is the this is the world where pe- people that aren't known will go into exactly that yeah, would be totally. perfect because it's like because that will bring them up with the gamers because all the gamers will watch this right yeah totally i watch i watch assassin's creed only because I, I played the game uh-huh yeah exactly so, but like but so, when so. It, it's kind of like a red flag whenever you see that happen because you're like oh they could just be going for the star studded you know like cast you know it's like it's like the movie's probably not gonna be that good and that's why they're like filling it with all these like main actors you know what i mean oh uh, yeah have you heard of the harvey yeah. weinstein thing yo it's like all over uh the news and stuff because like he's um allegedly he's uh he's like sexually harassed a bunch of like celebrities in order to get roles they had to like blow them and stuff yeah that's normal in the industry I, right you're like oh that's normal it's like yeah like that's like been heard of it's kind of funny that it's all coming out right now but like but it's you never always really been think... like that totally it's like it's like the assumedness you know of like it's like well that's how you make it you know mm, yeah that's that is how that is yeah. how and if people <laughs> want to realize that you know like there's a time michael jackson was trying to warn people Cat Williams, Dave Chappelle. Oh no way! Eh? Oh, no one wants to listen. Oh, this is that's the whole, crazy. This is that whole thing is the whole Illuminati. Oh, idea. interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they control the media? So it's like, yeah, it makes sense because it's like Cat Williams was talking about like the sex parties that will always go through. That will go to like, like one huge house where it's just all every, every room that someone's having sex. Really? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Did Did you watch yeah, Dave Chappelle? And there's parties like cocaine and everything like uh-huh. these celebs get party crazy together yeah and then like like there's times when they want to like get out like i know like bow wow tried to get out but then they started saying he's gay oh so yeah, like, yeah yeah i heard about that they like they like ruin your career career yeah Lindsay lohan and oh. that's why she said she was a druggie oh well, no you know like and they did it with angelina jolie for sure yeah, she, she's they the one who... she, they, they were found in a drug den yeah, she she's the one who who got out. Uh, I think I think it was her, Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie. They they both outed Harvey Weinstein for like his mm. uh, sexual stuff. That's crazy, man! I didn't know that happened. Like I didn't did know they? that. Did she did she do that? Yeah, really? it's like a, it's a big thing right now. Like, oh man! And then all these other celebrities are like like now they have like the freaking uh, um, the courage to like out him as well because like. Um, you know, some people came forward and like blah, blah blah blah. You know. Yeah. But do you think it's like an actual Illuminati thing, or do you think it's just like, like that's just what they call it? You know what I mean? It's like, I yeah, don't... that's what does it call it? It's I don't know what it is, but it's 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 an it's an it's a thing that they do. Yeah, I because I couldn't see like an actual like group of people that are like, you know, like taking over. Or, like uh, that seems a bit far fetched to me. You know. Yeah. Unless it's real, then it's like holy crap. Have Have you heard of like the, uh, uh, the Wil- Bilderbergs and the uh, uh, oh, I forgot the Radcliffs or something, something like that. And it's like uh, oh. it, it's like these families that have been like old money for so long that um, they they own so much in the media that like they're able to influence their um, yeah influence society because they're so rich because they have their their hands in everything you know yeah that okay. would be really interesting like it's like uh, old like but it makes sense though it's like if we start something right now and then in like a hundred years of course our ancestors are going to continue what we've created you know and then yeah. it, it, you know it's like if it, it's successful in in, in uh, money exactly money, yes, they, they make it sound like some crazy conspiracy but what if you like think about it it's like no that's naturally what would happen like if you had money and you kept propagating it in like a hundred years your name's gonna be everywhere you know but it's just funny like so you're telling me angelina jolie had to give someone a blowjob for a part in a movie yeah allegedly same person. with Gw- gwyneth paltrow she's like i don't know if it's angelina jolie for sure i'm Pretty sure that's who they Yo, said, but it was Gwyneth Paltrow. Those beautiful like, I remember. lips, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, do, do you know uh, that uh, um, uh, Brad Pitt and her broke up? Eh, that's been a, it's been I a while. They're still like, together. 
No, 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 no they, they broke they've up. They've had yeah. problems and then they came back together, no? No, no, this, this one they broke up, like, uh, Brad Pitt was saying how, like, he became an alcoholic. And she was saying, like, he, um, he was, like, going cray-cray. But then he was saying, no, she was saying he was becoming say, an alcoholic. Say, say, back up, back up, back up. Oh, slow oh, down, slow yeah. down for me. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Okay, go. Uh, so, so, like, uh, he was saying uh she's cray cray and he was she was saying he's cray cray like they're both like he's a drunk cat yeah i remember yeah. this i remember this yeah so I it's, like a, this. it's like a big and then they found out that angelina jolie is actually the crazy one right yeah i don't, know. I don't think we could say she's crazy but it's like i think they're both i think they're both just mentally at at the brink, the brink. at the brink for sure yeah. yeah that's what jim carrey went through jim yeah totally carrey went yeah. through it that's one of the hardest all parts, the greats man. go through it yeah for sure for all sure. the greats went through it one thing that we forget that that like what we see in the media is like that these people are just people you know and it's like how do we know that um how do we know that uh what's his name um brad pitt isn't just like going through the same problems that we would you know what does fame he feel is. like you know, exactly he right is. but like you look but at them like he gods, has to he know? has to be he has to be they have to play a character 24 hours of their lives yeah exactly yo like he's and uh sometimes it's on there yeah they're at the brink now it's like i can't do it anymore i have to sure. be i have to be me like you can't deny him yourself anymore exactly yo so but it's he kind of has that reputation though i eh? like he uh he got he broke up with uh oh, what's her name jennifer aniston for Angelina Jolie. Yeah, for that movie. Um, it was during that movie, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they were they were sick in that. I love that movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That was a good movie. It's just too bad that like. I like the idea of it. Yeah, I do too. Like, but you know that was, was real. Like, they they have like the the uh, there's like multiple spies that live like that. You know, they act like they have like full families, but like they're actually spies. I don't think they have that kind of technology in their home. No, like no, 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 of course, of course not that technology, but like that level of secrecy where it's like you're, you're, li I think it was outed in camp. Cause like, I remember telling my cousin like, oh, uh, that's such a sick idea. Right. And then he was saying that on the news, uh, no, no, I saw on the news, it's like a real life Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's like two Russian couples. They didn't know that they were both spies. Nice. Well, yeah. I'm, like on the TV shows, I'm going by TV shows, okay? I don't know anything about this. Oh, okay, on TV okay. shows, with the Russians, they all do with the Russian spies. They start them very young. Oh, interesting. Okay. But they always separate. They don't know each other, nothing. Right, right. Oh, they'll like never know cells. each other ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you and watch 24? They'll, they'll start them, yeah. No. So, what, what show is that? Um like all well, shows. right now i'm watching yeah that's pretty much all shows but like uh, there was one there was a movie too with angelina jolie salt wasn't it oh salt yeah yeah, yeah. and so like russian spy yeah they'll, they'll create these like little kids yeah true 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 i wonder yeah, why like start them young and then they don't know what what happens until until like he calls for them on. yeah i wonder i wonder what like um i wonder what like what the reasoning behind like all these like russian um you know what i mean it's like it's kind of interesting how like the media will like play on who the bad guy is you know what i mean they'll like okay in this movie it's gonna be a russian in this movie it's gonna be like a muslim you know and like that plays upon our fears you know we, we kind of forget that whatever we see in movies is kind of how we get influenced you know yeah it's like yeah you have to be very careful with whoever you set as the terrorist. I'm watching, um, what's it called? Blacklist. Oh, okay. What's that about? It's all about, it's all about the, the uh, a unit that was created to stop terror terrorists. Oh, the interesting. Secret unit. Yeah. Okay. Netflix. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Watch it. Blacklist. Okay. And, Check it out. And like, Is this, uh, so this guy, okay. So here's the story. Uh huh. One guy, he's uh, in the top ten wanted uh, fugitive lifts uh -huh. of FBI for the okay. FBI. So he's in the top ten. Yeah. Like he was wanted, mm -hmm. and then he one day walks into the bureau and uh, gives himself up. Okay, that's interesting. And then uh, he wants immunity 
But um. in exchange, he's going to give them a list of people. It's called a blacklist, and it's a list of people that are not on the FBI's radar. Uh-huh. That are like the true terrorists, like oh no way, killing millions of people. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's a good. It's a good show. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Premise, pretty into yeah. It. yeah. Okay. And it's it's like uh, Americans. Yeah. Uh, the well, FBI is uh, American, but no, oh, right, right, it's right, all right. over. They do. There are Americans. There are. There are like. There's, they were in Russia. There's like there's a lot of countries. He's all over the world. This guy is all over the world. He's this. He's known as the. I forgot what they call him. Um, but he's yeah. He's like the the middleman in all of like the underground world. Like, oh, he's okay. like the top guy. He's the top guy in the underground world, pretty much. Interesting. Hmm. I, and then that's uh, that's why now he has the FBI w- immunity for the list. So nice. always, uh, like, like, so you just get lists, and then there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of like good aspects. There was one where it was like, he was, he was uh, changing everyone's DNA at, to fake someone else's death. They called them the alchemist. No way! Oh, that's so sick! Wow. So they, they're like, oh, this guy's the alchemist, and they're like, why do they call him the alchemist? And then uh-huh. so they're they're like, we don't know why they call him the alchemist. And then in the episode, they, they show why their na- his what his name was, and it was so he would kill like someone would be dead. Uh-huh. So what we'd do? He he would fake. He would like fix their teeth. Wow! He would fix their dental, dental, uh, like, uh, like uh, their teeth to imitate someone else. Like uh-huh. he was, he was like, okay, this is a. I'm gonna be a spoiling this. This okay. is one episode. Okay, Spoiler. this is a cool one. Uh-huh. So he he was trying to get his wife, and daughter. Uh-huh. So he was so he faked their both. He faked both of their deaths by. Like getting their dental records, getting like uh, like their DNA, and then like he infused them with this other with other bodies, uh-huh. so that when the when the police took the DNA, they it would show that it was the wife and daughter. Interesting. I I it was pretty cool. They, like, that's yeah, like there's lots. They, that's kind of like in the Batman movie when uh, Bane he like he had the blood transfusion. Remember in the very beginning, like they're like, "Oh no, like we need, uh, we need a body or something like that." And then he, um, he like, he like transfused the blood of the guy that was the scientist into a dead body in order to make it look like uh, when they it found the crash. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 See. Oh, that's cool. I forgot yeah. about that. And dental records yeah. too. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah, dental records, everything. Yeah. Can, can you set the waypoint for your apartment? Even the, I think I think even the fingerprints. No way! Wow. Are oh, you going the other way? Oh, turn around. There you go. Wow, fingerprints too. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. that's why they call him the alchemist. It was like that's his work. His work mm. was strictly to, and then he would take on clients uh-huh. to do that stuff. Like he would fake people's deaths. Wow. That was his. Uh, that was his uh, job. Fake people's deaths, and then people will get a new identity somewhere else. Wow. Is yeah. he, does he work for the government or for the black market? Like the illegal uh, black market, black market. Black oh, okay. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple things that are going on with the government stuff. So you're gonna have to. It's a good show. Like okay. there's just like this the but the guys they're they're taking like there was one where it's like he has, he had the uh, idea for immortal life. How would he do that? Uh, well, this is late in the. It's very TV late show. in the in this TV show. Uh-huh. Yeah. So look, he he was trying. He got like stem cells. He's trying to use stem cells to create immortal. So life. there was this. Yeah, and uh, there's stem cells. Plus, he was using this jellyfish, and this one jellyfish uh-huh. is the only creature on Earth that reverses its life. No way. Okay. Is this real? So when they're, no, when it's it, a TV it, show. Yeah, well, I don't know. This is on the TV show. I don't know if it's a real jellyfish. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so they're saying this one jellyfish will like whenever it's going to be attacked or something, and it thinks it's going to die, uh-huh. it will, it will turn life, its life back into when it become a baby. Oh wow! 
like like young until it's a it's a it's a younging. So that that process, uh-huh. he he was using the stem cells and the, the DNA of the jellyfish to hopefully get a brain to adapt to both. Interesting. To both did, things. Did he get it to work? Uh, eventually, no. Oh. Unfortunately, not. He was trying to cure frontal lobe uh, frontal lobe problem. Yeah, like it was like people that are it, uh, like unco- like not unconscious, but like what's that word? I don't know the word. Like the paralyzed, like completely oh, okay. paralyzed, but they're totally aware of what's going on type of thing. Oh yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I I know the symptom. Yeah. I don't know the word either. Okay. Oh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Well, like yeah, so. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They have pretty cool stuff, man. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, uh, Terrorists, you don't know? It's crazy because it's like that could actually be going on right now, but we just don't know, you know? Yeah. It's like, They're hey. saying there's like a biochemical, uh, there's biochemical guy, uh, terrorist. There's lots of, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of spies in this show. It's all about spies. That's why we're talking about spies. So it's like, yo, this is all about spies. That's pretty sad. And like the underground. Hmm. Uh, yeah. well, quick, uh, quick, quick pause. Can you just uh, set up the new mission? I need to take another Wiz Khalifa. Too much okay. coffee. Do you think? Be back. Oh. Let's see what's this. And I'm back. That was a quick. Wiz Khalifa says, hello, what's up? He's going to do a concert soon. Cool. Uh, so have you ever seen Eastern Promises? Now they're talking about gangster movies. No. you never seen Eastern Promises? With the Russian and then like he was actually a uh, spoiler alert. He was actually a spy. Uh, it was Viggo Mortensen. No. Oh, too bad. He had like the one of the first times in that movie is like uh, like uh, if you actually look at old time movies, there was like a lot of nakedness, but like recent movies, they've like toned it down. But in Eastern Promises, it was the first time I ever saw a knife fight scene with a fully naked dude. Like Viggo Mortensen was like fully naked. Like, it was. It <laughs> Why cra- I want to see that? I don't know. No, it's, I, I didn't expect that to happen. I was like, I was like, oh, this is a crazy gangster movie. Hey. Weapon of choice: take out the target using. What weapon? I don't understand what weapon we're supposed to use. Sorry. Or it's like your choice of weapon? No, the it's... Two targets. There's a specific way he's supposed to do... Oh, rough. Yeah. It's too bad we don't have, like, a chat open or some people watching to tell us what to do in the game. Oh, I hit this. Oh, too bad. Go back, go back. You're, Wait, you're not even following... What? There's the yellow marker, right? Yeah, you're going the other way. Huh? Uh oh. Maybe we'll set the waypoint to the character LS LS I what? Oh you set you set the waypoint. Oh there it is. Okay, cool, cool. That's your waypoint. Yeah. Yeah, so have you noticed that like um movies have been on the decline for like like nakedness. Like if you look at like a seventies movie, they're totally into like nude scenes, like full on, you know, but then like recently they've kinda like banned it. Which is really interesting, because it's like, why did they ban Have it? Have they? Yeah, like... Well, they haven't I, banned it. I no, still like, see titties everywhere. No, 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 no but, but that, that's, like, that's like the one half. I meant, like, fully nude. Like, if you look at, like, old school movies... Oh, there's movies, no fully nude stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, you never see that anymore. It's very rare. Yeah. It's almost like, uh... With a bus. Oh, we have to go to the bus. We, get it. we have to steal the bus. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That makes sense. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's almost like they um they feel like it's uh it's too much for us now. Can you jump oh. in with me? Yep. Except for like artsy artsy like French movies, they still have like you know, those kinds of like hardcore hardcore movies. It it's one it's like interesting. When when does it when do you draw the line from like uh like erotica to like just a artsy movie? You know what I mean? Can you set the waypoint? Oh, um, there's uh, there's no line. They're both the same. Like erotic and artsy movies. <laughs> well, I guess you could you could technically say that it is an art piece, seeing that kind of uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's an art of on its own. Sometimes, sometimes you'll be watching a movie and then they'll bust out like a full on like you know it's really awkward when you're watching like a like a um, sex scene in a movie that's like really raunchy and you're like oh man I'm watching this with my parents right now I don't know what to do uh, oh when that happens I walk away <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's I walk like away. that's so awkward right you're just like um yeah well there's this one time. I was making a joke to my dad. Like, we were watching this movie, and then, like, a sex scene kicked in, and we both didn't say anything. So to cut the awkward silence, I went, well, this is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it just, like, added to the awkwardness. He's like, what the? You're the one. You're yeah, the one. Know, it's like, what, what do you do, you know? Like, you're just like, oh, man. Well, what would you do if you had, like, a daughter? Like, and then, like, wh like, what's the age when you, like, tell your kid that that stuff happens? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna leave that to my significant other. I can talk to the boy, <laughs> but when it's a daughter, no, 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 I can't give this to. I know, to, right? I can't give this like, to. That's just super awkward. Woman. What about like a boy? Yeah. What would you say? You're like, any time's a good time. So. Uh, you don't want you don't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that's, me to talk to talk to your child about. That's about so the, funny. The, you know how how it all works with the stork and stuff. That's oh, what I'll sure. say. No, I, I would not say that. You wouldn't say the stork, the stork line? No, I would not. Oh, interesting. Actually, no, I wouldn't I say the stork line either. That's a little weird. I, I, it would have to be gauged. It depends on the age they ask me. Ooh. Oh, darn. <laughs> it was, all right, you guys can't see it, but he like rammed a pole and the bus flipped. But magically, the bus reenacted itself. Now I'm stuck. Oh, too bad. You gotta... I'm actually stuck. Oh, rough. <laughs> Oh, rough. That's what happens. Yeah, so you, you wouldn't you wouldn't say the stork line. You'd say, what would you tell him? You're straight up. You'd just be like, hey, man, this is what happens. Yeah, I Unless think I might. Girl. Interesting. I, I will not be able to tell it to a girl. Mm, yeah, I feel you. Come on my motorcycle. All right, cool, cool. I can't talk to a girl about it because I don't know the experience. Where are you going? Where oh, you sorry. Going? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's just awkward. I don't know yeah. the experience for women, so it's like I, I can't say it. I can't speak for it. You know, it'd be interesting, like when, uh, like, it's it's weird because like when we were kids, you you deal with the problems yourself, right? And like yeah. thinking about your kid asking you problems like bullying or like whatever, it's like how do, how would you respond to that? You know, like what what if your kid came home and they're like, "Hey, I'm getting bullied in school." You know, you're like. I'm gonna teach you how to fight <laughs> for sure. But that—that's one of the fears. Is like we don't know. Like we knew how to handle ourselves, but it's like handling another person. It's like, what do you say in that, you know, situation? What if your kid is like the nerd of the school, or like everyone hates them, or you know what I mean? Oh, you, you, you know those stories. Oh man, you know those stories of like, like when um, there'd be like that one girl that like you know did questionable things imagine if your kid was like that person that would suck so oh, hard oh my god you know what i mean like oh game over it's like like do i get upset at you do i try and help counsel you through this you know what I mean? oh, where did i go wrong as, that's probably where people say like where did i go wrong as a parent you know what i mean do i go just break through what's going on yeah break through no drive up yeah break through break through you got this yeah. Like, I feel like that would be the ultimate, like, game over. Oh, I think you could, like, go faster. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, like, the ultimate game over, yo. It's like, 
It's like, yeah, I'm a... Somebody caught me in the bathroom, Dad. Ooh. Ooh, what do you do? They caught me in the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. I'd be like, you need to <laughs> change schools right now. <laughs> right? It's like you can't do anything and about that. You're like, turn your life around. You turn your life around, and we're moving schools. Yeah, that's crazy. Because now you have that reputation as the person what it is you know yeah. and it, it's funny because it's like oh do you have to kill them no not them uh, it's funny because it's like we forget that parents are just people like there's no prerequisite to being a parent you know what i mean like you just have to do the act and then you're going to become a parent you know and like because of that it's like we forget often that like our parents have to deal with the same stuff you know, it's like, you know, we're like, oh, I'm going to put them in boarding school. But then when we were kids, it's like, oh, God, uh, why is my dad going to make me go to boarding school? But then you're, you're in their shoes now and you're like, oh, yeah, totally. I get why I would have gone to boarding school, too, because, like, I'm being like a total crazy person with this uh, nonstop, you know, taking it in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus, you need to stop. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> no. Wait, it's interesting now though. Oh, cool sniper rifle. It's interesting now though because like, um, because of, are you gonna shoot them or me? Yeah, you'll shoot them. Who it, is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, you get the guy on the right. I get the guy on the left. Oh, you kill them all. Okay, the ball. Cool. I got the ball guy. All right, cool. Who's the guy? I don't know who to kill. Uh, I think it's the ball guy. I get the guy. The ball guy. I will get the ball guy. You get the guy. Three, okay. two, one. one, go! Bang, bang, nice. Oh, nice kills. Oh, look at this guy killing them before me. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's this helicopter. Okay. Oh, it's probably that. Yeah, there you go. We got him. Yeah, if you're watching YouTube, you'll totally get what's going on. But right now, if you're listening only, uh, we sniped a person in a helicopter. And we just got awarded $20,000. <laughs> If if only life was this easy, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I should run a couple missions. Just 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 kill someone. You know what I mean? But like, we we have the consequences of going to jail. That is the problem. You know what I mean? They they make video game life seem so easy. Maybe that's why people like it so much. You know? All reward, no real work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Nice. You did it big out there. Nice. Uh uh, yeah. It's like um, totally see why this is so addicting. Well, would you uh, would you make your kid go outside and play and stuff? Or like, what? Like, what if your kid was like, oh, I want to play like video games, or like I want to, I want to play, but like it's there's to like a certain limit. extent. Like, yeah, there's no like you're gonna do this for three, four, five hours straight. Oh yeah, for sure. But you know what's weird? Uh, like with with the new technology and stuff, they could potentially become like a like a video gamer, you know? Because there's like a job now. Like that that's the interesting part about uh, where like technology, we have like a weird way of making money. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there are career paths for video game players now, like esports. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is real, but I think they're putting esports in the Olympics. Like they're talking about it. Making an Olympic sport. Yeah, no. <laughs> you ever watch Icarus? The uh, documentary? So ba basically, no. uh, it's a documentary about uh, doping. And everybody in the Olympics, the, the Sochi Olympics and stuff, like the Russian national team, everybody was doping. You know? Oh, oh I heard about this. Yeah, it's never crazy. Watched it. Oh, man. It's like, it's like everyone that you think has... Um, has like one from like legitimate means they're probably doping you know because you can't actually tell who's doping like the guy in the movie he does like a super size me type of doping you know where he takes like everything in order to like show the effects of doping oh is this, like, a, is this the lance armstrong yeah, yeah, yeah. well they, how, they didn't how out lance him in this armstrong, one how lance armstrong yeah how lance armstrong can get away with taking it because uh, what, there's a process yeah, yeah there's a process and then he used the russian guide that that uh, yeah. helped the Russian team cheat. Yeah, this oh, is this is that test. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same guy. Oh yeah, I watched yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 the guy. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't out. They, no, Lance Armstrong was not outed in this show. It just showed how it can be possible. Yeah, exactly. That he can. 
get away with it. But but the crazy part or is anybody, like anybody, not just Armstrong. Yeah, yeah. So so in the in the show they talk about how like everyone was um, doping, and it's it's interesting because like uh, you don't even look like you're doping, but you're doping because the main character in the movie. He he wasn't jacked or anything. He looked like a normal person. He just had like higher endurance, you know. Mm. So it's like, because because like you know, um, well, what well, that was what he was like, training for his perform. Like, what was the growth of his his uh, performance? Though? He he didn't even win. He Best. became like oh, fourth or something like that. Uh, you, you passed it. Oh oh okay, I got you, got you. So yeah, he didn't even uh, he didn't even. I think he became like fourteenth or fourth or something like that. Like it wasn't like he didn't win the Olympics just because of the doping. No, but what, what was his progression? What was his progression from uh, when he started? Oh, you know, I see. Like, I see. What was the growth of his of his uh, uh, his muscles? His yeah, his progression his on endurance? the time. Oh like, yeah, yeah, no, like, no, it was it was good. Different. No, it, it was it was good. It was good. Yeah, but would it have been different if he did it that way? Or, like, if he did it normally, would he have done that well? No, know? no, but what they're saying is, like, uh, you can't do anything normally. So, like, you had to go to, like, the, uh, like, 40th person down the list of people in the triathlon, that, and then you'd find somebody who was clean. Like, anybody who actually does things clean is, like, it's impossible. But, like, what is clean anyways, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like is creatine clean? Is protein powder clean? You know? If it came from your body, yeah, then yes. Right, right, but but everyone takes like uh, protein powder, or creatine, like that. That all seems like supplementing to me. You know, even if you take like vitamin that, D. That's that's how it is for me. That's why I don't do it. Yeah, if for sure. Is it, uh, uh, I'll, I'll meet you there. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah I'll hop off. Oops. Cool, cool. Yeah. So like, uh, I it, it's interesting because like. Uh, I am I'm like really into the UFC right now and like uh, a lot of the people that like a lot of people are getting caught for steroids you know but like yeah it, it's interesting because like we don't think of these things like uh, I remember Falco I remember Falco yeah uh, yeah so he was I was like hanging out with him and Brownlee one time and they were saying like oh like I can't I want to be like the rock and I'm like dude that guy's on steroids he's like, no he's not I'm like yeah what like we we have this like it's like in society marketing okay, maybe they're not they're not on roids but he's on creatine he's on protein weight he's on oh no 100 percent um freaking uh, every, the rock like, is on steroids <laughs> like hgh there's no way you get that big it's impossible he's like 40 something or maybe 50 something, something like that but uh, after like 33 your body starts going downhill like you can't you can't possibly get that jacked after 30 yeah and especially his his sleep uh, time gotta start now then man <laughs> but but sleeping too like recovery right because you have to recover to make your muscles right like that's it's yeah. like 101 right you have to like get enough sleep but the rock sleeps like four hours a day so um, there's a way to uh, there's a way to get rid of the the sleep because i know like well because if you have enough nutrients to provide for your body then you're fine. Oh, okay, okay. But even even still, though, it's like Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe Bryant only slept for four hours. Okay, but but he like Kobe they, Bryant looks pretty a, normal. He had a new, he had a nutritionist for every sure, morning. For sure. Set him up for breakfast. Set him up for lunch. Everything. For like sure, for was, sure. All his meals were set. But yeah. but see see that's the thing though. If you look at Kobe Bryant, he doesn't look like The Rock. Like The Rock is jacked. Uh, okay, you know. That's true. So it's like if Kobe Bryant looked like that, it's like, like he was hey, jacked totally like that table. when he was when he was 30 he was probably more jacked than he in, than, uh, than when he was 30 when, when so he was, was wrestling like, right now he's now he's just uh maintaining you know maybe no, he no, could but, just do it but but like um it's very prevalent in the wwe that they they talk about their their constant stero steroid use because like it, it wears out the body to do all those wrestling practices and like performances so like um yeah. i was watching this doc where like uh pro wrestlers they talk like it was like hulk hogan or something like that he would uh, talk about how he'd have to use steroids between fights because, like, your body be worn out too much. Wow. Yeah, like all of all of them are on steroids, bro. Because like you're you're always performing like all the time. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I right. It's like a the illusion's gone now. That's why GSP left. 
GSP, that didn't just, I watched this video where GSP is like, Oh, they're all on you know, I've, been do, I've been doing this for a long time, uh -huh. and you know, I, I wanted to teach people that I you can do it clean. And I don't I'm, know. I'm glad yo. that the UFC has made changes and started using, started testing. I, I don't know. You, you, you ever see Nick Diaz's body? Like, yeah. you, uh, you've that's seen a fight, right? Body. That's a normal, that's body. A normal body. But GSP, I don't know. Like, that's a little. Like, oh, enter the limousine. Oh, my limousine? Oh, I think we're just dropping off. You need to park. Oh, I see. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, GSP, I don't know. Like, when he was back in the day, he was so cut. I was watching, like, old videos. I'm like, I don't know about that. You know, like, you're a little too jack, sir. Take that side. I'll take the right, back cool. side. Yeah, like, do you, do you think GSP was actually clean? Um, you know what? He trained as a gymnast, you know? And you, but that was only recently, him? though. That, that was recently, though. It wasn't like before. But when before. he was beginning, he wasn't super jacked. Ah, uh, true. I guess, yeah, I guess it could be. But, like, see, somebody like Nick Diaz, like, that's... That seems normal that's to a, me. Holy, like, that's a true... That's a true normal body. Yeah. yeah. That is a normal body. Right? But, like... Something like GSP has got like zero body fat, and you're like, I don't think so, bro. Oh no! Like even Nate Diaz called him out, you know? Oh, uh, Nick Diaz, sorry, called called GSP out. He's like, oh, you're on steroids. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Are Are you excited for the Michael Bisping fight? Mm, not really. Oh, uh, I I know, right? They're kind of like old he now. Have, yeah, he should have just retired. I don't know why he's doing this. Maybe, maybe he feels like I can beat Michael Bisping. Or... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird, he, right? I think he needed more money. Oh, I'm guessing. Rough. That's always the I case. I think he used up all his money, so it's like... He now he like needs a to... a prize fight? Yeah. A prize fight plus it's going to give him uh, exposure again so For that sure. people go to his gym, maybe? I don't know maybe, how maybe well actually, he's yeah, doing. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Actually, you know, from like a business perspective, I, I agree with you. You know uh, Nate Diaz? After the fight with Conor McGregor, he opened up his own uh, gym his own Brazilian jiu-jitsu gym called like Nate Diaz yeah. Academy. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's totally like a business move. Like you're, you're trying to put away money. Now you're Mark. Yeah. He's no, he's, yeah. he's marketing himself going to be well now because he used that fight. Exactly. 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 And now they're, they're trying to do a trilogy to yeah, end it. Yeah. I'd watch so it. So it's like, I'd watch it. I'd watch a trilogy. Cause that was the only person Connor couldn't get into like play with his head. So yeah, it's like, true, true, true. this is the only guy that can shake him. And it's like, for sure. now we have to see who's better because it's 1-1. For, sure, it? for sure, for sure. they have three fights? No. No, they had two. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. One, one. Yeah. So but that's like, why there needs, to be a, there needs to be a third one. But like their last fight was, uh, I watched yeah, I it know. and I was like, it's all right. Like, I know. It was, it was I know. a close it one. It was like an like, Anderson Silva fight type of style. Yeah. Like, okay, Connor. And he like ran, he like ran, but I don't think it's I don't think it's running. Like people were like ribbing on him, or like oh you're running away from the fight. I thought that was just strategic. I was like yeah you're just gonna move to a better position. You know you can't just stand and bang. Yeah, he always exactly. Well, that's when, from my and from my perspective, those aren't martial artists, right? Those are sport fighters. True. That just yeah, want to sure. see two people beat up on each other. That's why a lot of boxers disrespect MMA because of those type of thinking it's just like oh i just want people to just beat on each other but it's like yeah buddy it's all about setting yourself up in a perfect position it's yeah, all about sure. all these different things so it's like it's not about just knocking knocking people out that's totally. not the game yeah totally yeah. totally yeah yeah ah, but there's a lot crazy. of perception that's the that's the that's what mma is yeah exactly exactly yeah, yeah. like sluggers like brawlers and stuff yeah for sure yeah are, are you uh are you excited for anyone on that card I don't even know the card. I oh. I'm not even. I'm not even interested. I'm watching more basketball than anything. Oh so. really? Eh. Okay. Yeah. I heard like Adrian was telling me about like the drama of basketball. But I'm like, I could. I can't really. Like for me, it's like like fighting is like so primal. Like that basketball is very. Like I couldn't see any drama in basketball. You know what I mean? Because it's like, why would there be drama? You're just playing ball. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there's drama. It's competitiveness, of course. Like you there's know, the there's, alpha. Yeah, that's true. The it's true. States. The, it's the alpha states. The guy that left. Uh, um, what's his name? Uh, LeBron James. Mm -hmm. What about him? Uh, I heard like there's like there's a guy that LeBron James would always pass the ball to, but now he wants to become like uh, 
like a no oh, Kyrie. Name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so he like wanted to be it. his own leader now. Yeah. Interesting. He was a, he he had there was a perception that he was always under the, the, the yeah the under the the best in the world right so he's right, like yo right. like I I am capable of going against him so he wanted to go on his own interesting and create his own legacy right right because right, he right, was right. I think he was like he is one of the best point guards in the game that's the thing so he's one of the best in his position uh-huh. and he's always being seen as like oh he's just a second guy right second right, option right. but he's like yo he's he's number he's one of the first like number ones so he wanted to prove himself to him to himself and to others um, that's what i'm guessing is he is he sick though oh yeah oh yeah yeah he's sick hmm. not amazing 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 like legacy style but he's he's one of the best in his position so you can't you can't say he's not good Right, right, right. Interesting. Because people get emotional, right? Yeah, that's true. I, have you seen the LeBron James documentary? When no. he was a kid and stuff. Oh, th- those. Oh yeah, yeah. Are yeah. So inspirational, yeah. yeah. Like watching people's come up. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of that. A uh, lot of that in the NBA, buddy. People's come ups. Oh yeah, like NBA has a lot of uh, come ups, a lot of people that had uh, that lived in low income families. One one parent. Uh-huh. That's like that is a there's a lot of people that have gone through that. Do you think? And that's fighting... why they've they've built that uh, hard work. Right, 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 right. Do you think fighting is going Which... to take over? You know, like um, other sports, like football basketball all that stuff or do you think it'll like stand no. the test of time it's gonna always just it's just always gonna be there like like look at bowling bowling was humongous now look at it it's like it's still there mm, true, true but that's like it's, it's an option yeah but do you think it's gonna like like do you think basketball will one day turn into like uh like darts you passed it again buddy know? oh dang you always miss that turn oh. into the back go to the back yeah oh it's like such a sneaky Next yeah, one, next one, next one, oh, next one. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always come from the other side, so that's why. Yeah, so do do you think it'll like it'll one day hit that point where it's like, it's like uh like darts? You know, it's like oh that's cool that's on. But it's not like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, because like I I, I don't think so. No? It's the what are the, the no because, well fighting. I think fighting will stay. F- for a no, very no, long no. Time. no, no, not fighting like basketball and stuff. Like the old sports, like basketball, football. Or maybe that's it just depends me, on where it. we are in technology. It's like you know, if if we're hovering and now and stuff, like, it's like are we still we watching? Matter. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So it depends on the 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 test of time. What's happening? What's happening at that time? But you you still like we're basketball? Gonna... Yeah. Well, I grew up with playing basketball so yeah so that's the thing it's like you have like the nostalgia feeling you know but i never really played ball so it's like i get into it once in a while if there was like a cool character you know like lebron james i was like oh he's so sick you know but then like it kind of fizzles out because i don't actually know what the rules are and stuff and like oh uh, yeah yeah i know exactly i know every aspect right so it's like you watch the game it's a, you... it's a it's a it's a it's a game on its own right like you have to study it Right, know exactly, where yeah, for people sure. are going, why they're going there, the timing of things. So it's like you like baseball. I didn't know this as a kid. <sighs> I like watching it in person. Ah, uh, I see, but not like on TV. It's kind of boring. No, it's very boring to me. Hmm. What about like football? Um, again in person. I watch. Uh, I watch. I watch the playoffs. Well, yeah, it's, it's like the big. Well, I, I don't even watch the playoffs, but I get, I get why you'd watch it. It's like the big thing, you know. Yeah. But I, I still find soccer sick. Like, I think it's because soccer like soccer is. Yeah. You don't like soccer, soccer is sick. Oh, soccer okay. Is... Yeah, yeah. But, because well, it's you like... know my workplace. Well, yeah, my exactly. Workplace, yeah, yeah. It was like I was surrounded by soccer, and like I learned the game, and that's why I grew for it. Right. Like right. I hated soccer before because I never knew it. Uh-huh. Once I understood the game, and once I learned what everyone was doing, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Yeah, like you can you can see how everything gets set up. Like you can understand 
when the play actually starts. Like they start it from the goalie, the, like type of thing. I was yeah, like, yeah. And and I I like how it's cool. like it's not like um, um, like constant scoring. You know, like for basketball, like. I found it was always like too much because like okay, what's the score? Two hundred and four to you know blah blah blah. Two hundred. You know, what I mean? like it's always like a high number. But like when when soccer was there, it was like oh one nothing, and you're like oh man, they could tie it, they could tie it. Oh god, you know. It's the anticipation. There is a lot of anticipation, right? You know, I gotta take you to I gotta take you to an actual soccer, soccer match? game. Is it sick? Yeah. Yo, Adrian loves it. Really? Eh. Adrian oh. loved it. He's like soccer fans are dick. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they go are. pretty hard, eh? It's, it's yeah. It's 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 the cheering. It's the the chanting. Uh-huh. It's it's all that. Like when you when you watch basketball games, it's like it's not so. They're not so into it. But soccer fans. Uh huh. They're into it from the second it starts till the end. Mm. Well, I, I guess it, like, I guess it's that yeah. anticipation, you know? Because I I watched a basketball game in person and I was like, ah, I like left halfway through. Yeah, you can get to that point. <laughs> you can get to that point. That's so funny. Even I, I love basketball, and sometimes I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna go, man. Yeah, I know, I'm right? Because it's like there's no like like bated breath like oh god it's gonna be so sick you know it's like when when they yeah. when they start getting on a scoring run you know they're like oh down by 21 points you're like all right it's game over yo just get get out of here <laughs> yeah. it's true that's true yeah yeah so that's why it's like soccer yeah but the soccer uh the soccer group uh people like the the crowd there's so much it, it's they're so more involved so much more involved yeah. than other sports you, that's the thing you know that i was i was like in elementary school and i was like reading some of the stuff in the well, i wasn't really reading i was like looking at the picture books in the library of our old school and like um they were saying that basketball came from the mexicans like the the, the mexican uh uh like the aztecs and like you'd have to throw the ball through the hole and then you, it would like have dire consequences, like like chopping your head off or something like that. You know, if you like, if you messed up, if you lost. Interesting. Yeah, and, and like the ball used to be like spiked or something like that. It was it was a very like deadly game. It wasn't like what we do now, where it's like pretty chill. Oh, it was like the dodgeball. Oh, what was the dodgeball thing? Where they use severed heads. Oh, really? Eh? Wow. I'll see. Like Chinese. Yeah. We, we totally we like. Severed it. Oh, we need to go to the beach. I don't know where uh, you're going. We you have to go back out. Uh, we and we, then go to the beach. Okay, cool. We we yeah. totally like. Uh, we have like this, like this different perception now with, uh, with um, sports. You know, we forget that it had like brutal, brutal connotations. But I guess like the one sport that's not that doesn't have a change connotation would be fighting because it's still like gladiators. You know. Yeah, with no weapons. Yeah, he's, yeah, just gladiators with no weapons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like the yo-yo was actually a Filipino uh, fighting thing. It was Filipino, right? A yo-yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they, I'm pretty sure it was Filipino. Um, I learned about this in We're Filipino have to school. Yeah, uh, the yo-yo was actually a, a weapon. It wasn't a toy back in the day. That makes sense interesting eh? it's like you have all these like humble beginning uh things we just don't don't think to look into history okay are you gonna take out okay you killed them quick i already started i like it i like it could you imagine being in this situation in real life <laughs> that'd be so freaky yo like I know. all these guns people shooting i know and then the police coming have you ever seen sicario no Oh man, it, it's about like the Mexican. That was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's like about the Mexican cartel, and like, um, and like in Mexico, allegedly, uh, they'd hang the bodies of um, people that like did you wrong on the on the streets. So like as like a warning sign, you know, it's like uh, don't don't mess with us. Like all the yeah yeah as a warning sign. Okay. Yeah, and, and like uh, the the 
the idea is like they followed this girl who had to help stop the cartel and then there was a one guy who like i think they called him medellin that was his nickname uh which is where uh pablo escobar right the drug cartel so like his family okay. got killed in the uh his family got killed uh in the, during the drug cartel and uh, what he did as a means of torture is he'd rape you they didn't they didn't explicitly like show it or anything but they alluded to Who it would do this the the guy he was like he was like a enforcer for the fbi well the mexican fbi not the not the american but like the mexican government was working with the american government and um when they would interrogate drug dealers uh the guy named medellin they would he would like rape them like he'd rape like guys <laughs> like it was a guy who would rape other guys in order to make them talk. No, no guy wants to be demasculated that's like what that. That's what I'm saying, right? Like that, when I saw that, I was like, dude, I've never seen an interrogation tactic like this. Like you hear about waterboarding, you hear about like all this other stuff, but like when you get into and like- He'll just get, he gets off on it though. Right? Oh my gosh. And, and it's just like, dude, I, I, I would talk right away. Like, do not rape me, that's not cool. Like waterboarding, it's like, okay, fine. I, I would make it. him kill me, you know. <laughs> you can kill me before you put that inside me, right? Uh-huh. Yo, like that—that that is totally the most demasculated. Do you ever, do you remember American History X when like he went yeah. to jail and then like he reformed himself when he got raped by the white supremacists? Yeah, that was a terrible scene. Oh man, but like in the beginning, you felt really bad for him. Oh, uh, you like want him like dead because he did the curb stomp on the on the black dude. Or, and then like what he, the, why was, I didn't want him dead. I was like, yo, that guy deserves it. He did a drive by. Oh, the curb stomp. Yeah. Oh, interesting. No, I, I. The guy did a drive by. He got hit, and he's trying to kill him already. So it's like, buddy, he he deserved to get stomped. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's funny because I I actually didn't I couldn't watch that movie. I just like watched like parts of it, and I was just like. Oh man, oh, okay. white curb stomp. So I didn't know. I didn't know the whole like. Um, so he, he he. So what happened was he was a white supremacist outside, right? So this happened, and then uh, the 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 African Americans did a drive by at his oh. house and shooting in his house. Oh, because he was his, a supremacist. Yeah, because he was a supremacist, and then when that happened, he got out, started shooting them. He caught one. Uh huh. And we got one in the leg or something, and then that's when he told him to bite the curb. Oh no way, rough. Yeah. So was, in, in reality, it was okay. It's not really self defense anymore, but uh-huh. you know what I mean. Like these guys shot up his house. No, yeah, his I, I brother, get you. His brother, his girlfriend, sure. him. So I was like, yo, he, of course. Uh, but then it was I don't crazy. Blame him for that. Okay, yeah, I, then, I, I it see. It was just like yeah. the whole point of the whole, like the whole story was the the mindset. Like, look what happened. He's, he was a white supremacist, but like, yeah, when he went to jail, these guys didn't even they didn't even care about that stuff. Yeah, that that stuff didn't matter to him. It, that's the crazy uh, part like, about the people in jail. Yeah, yeah, they, that's the crazy part about like realities. You know, because like we can get so caught up in our own reality that we don't even realize. You know that sometimes nobody really cares you know that white supremacist is like oh man like f black people and stuff but then he goes to jail it's like oh i really don't matter you know what i mean like my viewpoint is not that important in the grand scheme of things mm-hmm. you know and then look what happened well that's when they're being misled right he was being misled by someone for sure for sure yeah. know they yeah, told they- everyone he has the answer exactly a yeah. false guru <laughs> sometimes like if you're not free thinking you can end up uh paying for the consequences of another person's actions you know well that's what happened right he was guided through that guy to the his leader mm. the leader of the white supremacists okay like, and then so- in the in, at the end of and when he came out of jail he went to the to the leader is like you need to stay away from my younger brother no way all right then, wait, wait, can, can you, can you younger- give me the rundown bro because i i didn't know all this oh. like i i couldn't watch it because i was like okay the rape scene was messing with my head and the curb stomp was messing with my head so like what exactly happened so yeah that whole thing happened he went to jail he got raped by the white supremacist and then he made friends with the black guy uh-huh but but like how did it all One start it- like how is he a the white black guy was just giving him a heads up well, like and they had they started folding laundry together and stuff no but but like in the beginning like i did like how did it how do you begin he was, was just he a white supremacist he was always 
he was all like well his you find out his father was one like talking oh, shit okay. about African Americans and stuff and then like just very very racist so he he grew up with a racist father right and so his following was the same way and then this is you you're you're experiencing it through the through the younger brother now right uh-huh. so his younger brother is also becoming like that in high school oh interesting so his younger brother is in high school and he's going through that and when yeah so that whole that whole thing happened then he went to jail with the whole stomp. He was he put himself with the white supremacists, and then oh. they raped him. So he he tried to go by himself, and then he made friends with the black guy. The black guy became one of his closest friends. Interesting. He got out of prison. Oh. When he got out of prison, um, his old friends came back, but they were still supremacists. But his mindset has already changed. Ah, oh, interesting. Huh. So. Uh, and that's when he went to the, the guy and he was like, you need to stay away from my younger brother because he's seeing that while he was in jail, his younger brother became more and more like his old self. Right, 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 right. So it was like a redemption movie. So like, like he was fixing his mistakes yeah. from the past. Yeah, he was, trying to, he was trying to fix his mistakes from the past, but then in the meantime, he's seeing that his brother is being sucked, sucked into it. Right, right, right. Huh. And then, um, so he was fighting that... And then eventually there was like a fight. Like the brother gets into trouble because he's a white supremacist. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, so he was getting in trouble. And then eventually at the end of the movie, he got shot taking in the washroom. He got shot in the wash in the school washroom by one of the black kids that no. he started to fight with. No way! In in the start of the movie, type of thing. Oh, so it like it it came back to haunt him. Yes. Oh man, I can't deal with those movies, man. That's so freaky. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, that's like straight. But it, it, yeah. So he, then he, at the end of the movie, it was it was the older brother holding his younger brother. Wow. While he was like there was many shots in him. Yeah. On it, the, yeah. So it's that's kinda, how it ended. It's kind of like there was, it, the whole story was his essay. Oh, so the okay. younger brother had to write an essay for his teacher. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And it was like it, whatever it was. So he wanted. To, he talked about like the white supremacy. He talked about no whites way. and black, and then you, you find out that he was gonna make a change with his brother. Oh, so this, rough. yeah. So that, that's how. That's when he died. So he was. He he decided to make a change with his brother. He's like, okay, I'm gonna be fine. And then he went to school the first day to hand in the essay uh-huh. of what his his mindset. He changed his mindset. Yeah. Went to hand it in, and then um, yeah, he he died in the washroom that day. Wow. Yeah. That's so that crazy. was like yeah. So it was like. It, it worked. He, he he There was redemption. They were going to start anew, but then his old life, and yeah, the karma just got him. Wow, too bad, man. Huh. It was a good movie. That was a great, great movie. Uh, yeah, that was, maybe that was maybe I'll watch it, but I, I don't know. It's like Boys in the Hood, too. Like, I couldn't watch that movie, yo. I could always see, like, pieces of it. Boys in the like, Hood, oh, it was God, just. So negative. It's a gangst. Yeah, it's a gay. It's the. It's the yeah no it's not it's not your gangster movie yeah exactly it's, it's not like it's not like high-end gangster it's like low-end like like ghetto gangster you know okay yeah okay we're not gonna say low-end but we'll say yeah, ghetto <laughs> ghetto gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh that sucks yeah but like uh you ever see friday yeah it's almost like they made boys in the hood but like again for a joke you know what i mean like i noticed that they had the same like um ideas as like boys in yeah. the hood but like it was a lot lighter and i noticed that like ice cube was in it you know so like he probably yeah. had a lot to had a lot to do well with he that. created friday right so yeah, yeah exactly yeah you ever see a uh, straight out of compton straight out of compton yes that was probably one of like the best movies i've ever seen man like I, I really oh, you like. Think so? Yeah. Oh God, I love, I love like that, that struggle and like that, that like how they elevated themselves beyond their, um, beyond their means, you know. Mm. And I had to like re-listen to their music after that. I was like, oh, okay, like let me give this a better shot now, because now that I know your story, you know. Yeah. 
And what is your verdict on that? Oh, it's really good. I, I noticed that like rap music from before was had like a message, but then now it's like there's no real message because we have it a lot easier. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like back then, it was like all about fighting the power, and like, like I I can listen to like, like um, uh, Straight Outta Compton was a good CD. Biggie's song Juicy that was really good. Uh, it's yeah. all about like making it out of your current situation. But he went to Biggie's song. He wasn't even in the ghetto. Biggie wasn't even in the ghetto. Oh really? No. Oh okay. So I didn't know that. But wasn't that like Tupac too? Though he was like uh, he was yeah, in the arts program. Was. Well, he no, he was in the ghetto, and then he went into the arts program. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's uh but you, you know it's interesting. But like, yeah, but Biggie was rapping that like it was his life, but he didn't have that, that as his life at all. Interesting. So you you like um, was... you like Biggie versus uh, you like Tupac more than Biggie. Always. Well, they're both different styles, right? For if sure, you're gonna for go sure. in the rap game, if you're gonna talk rap, it's like they're both different style. I thought I, I thought um, Tupac was more poetic. I thought he was more um, telling stories, uh, passionate. Right. Yeah, right. he's poetic, passionate, and he could tell a story. Where Biggie was all about the flow of how he he delivered he, it. Uh, the, yeah, exactly. The flow of his delivery was really like, it was like a hypnotism, like. Yeah. 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 You know, so it was like that his style. That's his style. But Tupac was the, the passion. He was the raw, that yeah, raw passion. He was, but he was also poetic. So right. Was like, right. Straight it, up. It's kind of funny, like with um, with the whole. Uh, do you want to do one more? Uh, I think I'm okay. I'm gonna go. All right, cool. cool. I'm gonna go to the gym. Oh, I'm nice. gonna go to the gym. Get that body fit. Um, gotta work. I gotta do this. You know, I gotta put in work into this yoga body. <laughs> uh, f- f- final thought about the uh, the Tupac thing. It's like uh, it's interesting because if you read the Machiavelli, um, the actual book, it's about um, it's about becoming a great leader and in order to one of the things to become a great leader is to um is to become one of the people so that like so so one of the the things like if you take if you take over a town and you don't become one of the people then people will revolt but if you become one of them then they won't revolt so then i noticed that like uh from what i saw in the trailer when when he was like tatting his body up the lady's like oh why are you why are you going all gang like thug life and stuff but you want to change them and he's like the best way to change them is to become one of them and it was like that was straight out of the machiavelli you know like people think that tupac was like ultra gangster but it's like no he was actually trying to you know like not do the gangster route but he had to become gangster in order for people to listen to him but he was he was like a prophet of his time oh interesting if we're gonna go with that like yeah. he he read Machiavelli. That's where he yeah, got yeah. the mindset. Like yeah, exactly. If you exactly, watch yeah. watch all his interviews, this guy was eighteen speaking truth. That's true, that's 18. true. But his he's mom was a, truth. his black mom Panther. was a Black Panther, yeah. So like, you yeah. know, he was kinda like he had it already. He, he knew about the truth. Kid. He was exposed to the truth. Yeah, exactly. So what it, was, it was the extra books that he read. He read right. Machiavelli. He re- he read like he's reading like even like um the art of war i think he read that too he was yeah. he was there was an interview in bet where he was naming all these books that he was reading he's like no one reads these books yeah no right, one right. in the game reads these books i read these books for sure for sure so but but That's, what what is a prophet then you know what i mean like is that like something he was gonna who, he was gonna make change in his time and he's yeah. he has he has for sure yeah and in the hip-hop game and the rap game he has uh-huh. But if he stayed, he would have been. Oh man, he, like Puff Daddy would have nothing on this guy. Really? Eh? But I don't even like Puff, Puff Daddy, Daddy, man. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. But why is he so successful? Because he positioned himself. I hear he's. A, I hear. I hear he's. A, I hear he's a freak, though. That's why. <laughs> he's a freak. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. There's stuff, you know. There's people. There's this celebrity exposing other celebrities. You know. Yeah, totally. They totally. Like, yeah. That's why the whole sex thing with the celebrities is all true. Like it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be at the top of your game, you're gonna have to open up, man. For sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, Even if you're a guy, open up, open up, open up your mouth, open up your ass. 
it's unfortunate, but that's the game. That's the game you're going into. For sure, yeah. But that, that's like, you wanna, couldn't do that, man. You want to live it. Yeah, it's gross. I would not, but people are willing to do that. Anything for a dollar, yeah. That, that's, that's when you're like in your primal urges, you know what I mean? Like uh, you're, you're doing anything for, like you're, you're living through your instinct, you know, not your intuition. You know, you're letting your, mm. letting the wrong things guide you in a way. So for the, I have a question for this oh. um, mm-hmm. apartment. Okay. Should I get an apartment? Uh, how much do you have? 320 thou. Okay, and how much is an apartment? Well, the one closest to me is the 115, but it's like one of those mini ones. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, Ugly I, one. I would get a house. I mean, like, why not? You already have your thing and then... Or just improve the clubhouse that I have now. Uh, well, you do have everything that you, um, you do have everything available to you in the clubhouse. So maybe you go for the clubhouse versus the apartment, because like, what else? I thought the okay, because I thought the the apartment will give me access to the warehouses eventually, right? That's what I'm thinking. No. Oh, the 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 big ones for um the, for like the CEO missions for like the weed no no you just you just buy that you can literally just buy that how i'm looking i don't Uh, know where to find these things i don't don't know do i buy it on the phone or do i have to go and find these places no you buy you buy on the phone no okay i don't know where to get them then that's something we must google uh no no it's uh it's oh no no, i i know i know why it's the um it's the it's not the dynasty property it's the ones that are going out of foreclosure right there maze bank okay i'm on it uh and these are the ones you buy all the ones are are, clubhouses yeah uh then there's hangers yeah hangers and then there's uh uh other stuff hang is clubhouse hangers or built bunker foreclosure yeah hangers bunkers so i have to buy another clubhouse and make it into foreclosure I had no choice but to make it into a motorcycle club. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Like, are you telling me I have to buy a clubhouse but make it into... That's interesting. You uh, know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I I, I don't know. It's something we got to ask Vish because he is the... Hold on. Uh, okay, Dynasty exclusive. Could this be? Oh, right here. Dynasty ex- uh, executive is the CEOs. Yeah. Okay. That's the CEO one. All right. Let me go to the Ta-da. Dynasty Eight. Is the? Oh, here you go. <laughs> you more properties. But those are all the houses. Yeah. Uh, low end. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm not too sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's something we gotta Google. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's why I'm like, yo, what's going on? I don't even know where I bought my uh, my warehouse in this. If you're listening to this and you know what to do, write in the comments. Because I don't know what's going on right oh, now. Oh well. Maybe yeah. I have to access. Okay. Do you have to access that computer? You know the computer. Minotaur? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I did it all from my all from my phone. Just gotta figure out how to do it now. Okay, should I buy a house or should I just upgrade my? I was gonna get a house to get the upgrade, to get the upgrade, but uh, mm-hmm. to get the uh, warehouse. But right. if you're telling me there's a way no, I can no, get the I, warehouse I, I without the house, you, need, you don't need the warehouse just to get the house. We just don't know where to click. That's the problem. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, I would upgrade the. All right, well, do, so the problem with the, the weed missions is you have to resupply and then you sell them. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you get money every single go. Whereas, like, yeah. these missions, these missions, you do get money every single time. Yeah, I just want to have a warehouse, that's all. I feel you, yeah. Uh, okay, so I, guess, I guess I'll upgrade this. Hey, there Might you go. as well. Okay, we're going to do it, and then we're going to go in, take a tour, and we'll end. 
All right, cool, cool. So that that is the question of the day. What do you do when you have all this money? Do you save it? Do you spend it? Spend it. Spend it. You're only gonna live once. Once this game spend gets obsolete. <laughs> once the game becomes obsolete, it's like a life has died. So you might as well spend the money now. One hundred, three hundred, and two. Oh, I'm using it all. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, it's gonna spend that money. Three hundred and two. Should I spend it? Yeah, well, it was it was not that long. Like how often? Like every mission is like twenty, thirty grand. It's just a few missions, and then you're good. Done. Hey, there we check go. it out. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go inside. Hey, let me change. Let me change. Oh, okay, yeah. And we'll take our now. we'll take our uh, we'll take our selfie in there. All, all that right. hard, <coughs> all that hard work. Here we go. I'm in. Man, they allow you to do. I don't so think much it's gonna change game. downstairs. Ooh. Hopefully, it, it, it's fixed okay. my bedroom. I don't think it fixed the bedroom. It only fixed upstairs. Yeah, see. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh well. Right. So anyway, checking this out. Uh, if you're gonna do your own upgrade, realize that the downstairs will not be upgraded, but the upstairs. Oh, it looks way better, dude. That's cool. You got like you got sunroof now. It's like white. You got painted. I changed the walls and the furniture. Yeah, so. that's pretty sweet. I like it. That's what I did. Maybe I'll do this to mine now. Now that uh, now that I've seen it. That's pretty cool. How much money do you have? Yo, give me some money, yo. I wish I could. Four hundred forty-two thousand. There has to be. A way. Go to inventory. What's this? Cash. Cash. Go to inventory. Go to cash. What is that? Uh, where's inventory? Do I want know what that is? Money. Go to services? hold the middle button. Okay. Interaction menu. Yep. Go to oh, inventory. Uh huh. Oh, What's no, I, cash? Uh, cash is the king of Los Santos. I can't click it. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Can you click it? So this was my upgrade. No. Oh, this was yeah. my upgrade. This is what I paid for. Arm wrestle. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's yes. do this. I love how this game has like all these mini games, man. That's one of the things that... i oh, press X. To, yes. Uh, so that's like one of the cool parts about like this game. That old uh, old video games used to have. Now they used to have these, these like mini games that you could play. How do you do this? To rapidly move left. What the? Oh, I see. I just won. You have to just uh, move your your joystick really really quick. Rematch. Do you like? What do you mean like uh, repeatedly? Yeah, yeah, back and forth. Do you, do you ever play uh, Final Fantasy VIII? No, only oh. I only watch seven. Oh, look at that! Look at that! If you can hear clicking, that's me and Sydney trying to go. Oh no! Oh, the mass! It's like this is just like the uh, that game, uh, Dragon Ball Z, when you used to do like the uh, the power shots, and then you'd like shoot the two <laughs> fireballs. Remember that? You were so I good at it. Yeah. Press the button, oh my press god! Awesome. I always lose, yo. I was never good at this I game. Cheated. I did this. I did this thingy with my the fingernail. It's getting like really with my fingers. Yeah. Well, like I don't know how you're winning right now. I'm like I'm trying so hard. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh oh, he's gonna win. Oh oh no, I'm coming back. Oh oh, I lost. Whoa. Two out of three. Good match. That's, that's so funny. Yeah. That's right, cool. We're good. Do we gain something from that? We get oh, we do. RP points. No money. Uh, but no yeah. money, though. All right. Welcome to my home. I like it. Any final thoughts? Uh, if, if you were going to die tomorrow, what would you say? Hey, there's Good my riddance. picture. <laughs> 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 I like it. I like it. If you're going to die tomorrow, get rid of this. I'm like, what? <laughs> your, uh, your lesson that you would leave with man is good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what? So what? You know what else? What else? You know, I don't affect anyone else but my own life. So it's like for know, sure. Yeah, I got doesn't you. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay, fine. If I were gonna die, please bury me in earth. No casket. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really, it's... I actually, I actually really want this. Like, this is one of my 
bury me in the earth so that I can my energy can be transferred on to others. For sure, you, you know other beings, other the life of Earth. You know, circle of life. Totally, That's totally. If if we uh, if you ever die within the next um, like ten years or something, we'll have this recorded and I'll play it. I'll be like, hey, he called it. Like, just make it happen. Yeah. This is our, this well, is I told will. my girlfriend, so. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> digital <laughs> will. I was like, girlfriend, if I'm dead, make sure I'm buried in the earth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, yeah. I like it. So, uh, oh, till, we have to take our photo. Yeah. Oh, we'll do that after we, we sign off. So until next time, okay. realize that Sydney wants to be buried in the earth. In the earth. Circle of life. Yeah, circle of life, everyone. Till next time. Take it easy. <laughs>